look at how uh, the trading range that is under consideration by us in 2008 has an attempt to rally. So S&P has rallied to about this point right here, that up thrust, got us close to the resistance. Whereas currently NASDAQ is the weakest index. And do you guys see the resemblance here of this attempt in NASDAQ to rally while the Dow is rallying so, so much, well, while S&P is almost touching the resistance? This is very, very similar. And look what comes prior. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So four is that up thrust in rally uh, that uh, after which we have a very, very strong decline uh, to the support. Then we are attempting to rally and there is nothing there. There is no lift whatsoever. So I really, Bruce, like this comparison between S&P in 2008 to the NASDAQ, uh, current NASDAQ picture because of this attempt to rally, which is so weak. And then boom, we're still going down quite significantly here, 45%. So I would say if this bearish scenario is to unfold, what are we shorting? Uh, we are shorting steel technology. We're still raising the money there, as Bruce has said, and rotating money into other themes. Or if the general capitulation happens, we obviously either trade into the downside, the weakest asset, or we are in the cash position. Uh, Bruce, your thoughts? Well, I don't know how much more I could add to that. I think it was exceptionally uh, good and really makes the point. We we can handle this if we have good tactics. Mm -hmm. And uh, in your point about raising cash, you know, and being really clear about, you know, what we are, are we position traders, are we swing traders, et cetera, and then act accordingly in our risk management. And uh, we have to be really, really focused on that here. And I think that your analog points to the fact that we're, uh, we're, we're on the edge. I mean, yes, we can make the case for, you know, the markets being able to potentially rally from here, but this risk puts the risk reward characteristics of the two pictures very, I think, very clearly in focus.